you haven't found your purpose yet because you're scared of it because it's the biggest fear that we have as men purpose is simultaneously necessary and beautiful as well as it is deeply frightening because once you figure out and feel in your gut what it is that you should be doing on this planet you cannot escape it anymore you will and you must go in that direction because living with the knowledge and not acting on it will kill you so it means that everything will change and we are deeply afraid of change so our mind has something called resistance and resistance is there to always set you on the wrong path to avoid you going to the gym to make sure that you call it a day early definitely don't sit down and do the work and since it knows you and will do everything in its power and within my coaching practice i've came across two characters that struggle to find purpose i've seen a lot of these men so if you're struggling to find purpose then one of these two characters is going to sound a lot like you i'm going to explain what's going on there what is the cycle that's reoccurring and then i'm going to give you the way out so there's two characters that get stuck in two different cycles and it is very tough to get out of it because it is counterintuitive the first one is the unguided missile the unguided missile is one who jumps from action to action i don't know what it is but i want to try it one day he's drop shipping he does it for a few months and when shit gets hard and he actually needs to put the work in he convinces himself that hey this isn't really enjoyable doing this actual work so i'm gonna switch to that other piece of grass that looks definitely greener than this so he starts a marketing agency and he repeats the process and what happens is you scratch the surface take that initial dopamine hit of starting something new absorbing the novelty right inevitably when the actual work needs to happen the grass on the other side looks a lot greener sounds a lot like relationships doesn't it this is by far the most common character there is this fire and this willingness to take action but not the willingness to continue because they take the discomfort of the actual work as a false indication that this must not be for them the second character is the passive ponderer i've only encountered a few of these but often more introspective very intelligent men that have amazing business plans theories ideas often even write them down or work them out completely but they stay inside their heads for so long and they're getting the dopamine hit that way of working an idea out and in their imagination they've already achieved the business they have already seen it thrive you're cheating yourself by taking the dopamine hit that you would get if you would take action these men will stay thinking theorizing pondering and remain passive they will think and think and strategize and plan until they find a reason not to now these two characters are very similar why because we're talking again about resistance resistance is that little thing inside of us that's going to persuade you to not go to the gym today to say it's enough for today to procrastinate until tomorrow to say let's just write an amazing schedule for tomorrow that i feel very confident i will follow but then when the next day hits we're gonna procrastinate one more day resistance knows you it's inside you it knows exactly how you function and it's gonna find a way to convince you to not do the work so both characters the unguided missile and the passive ponderer are simply experiencing the same resistance in different ways so what is the way out of both of these cycles how do you escape being this character and so how do you find your purpose what you must do is choose a path a project that is marketable a gen so you have a generic sense that there is demand for it and that you can make money doing it you somewhat enjoy the idea of creating this business and the tasks that are part of it this does not need to be or feel like your absolute passion that is the pitfall that keeps you in the same cycle to say ah this is not it if you somewhat enjoy it it is good enough and we'll get to why in a second the third one is 
it is somewhat in line with the direction of your character. What do I mean with that? If you look at your life and the things you've been good at, things that you've enjoyed most, does it seem to be somewhat in the direction of your character? So marketability, can I make money with it? I somewhat enjoy it and it's somewhat in the direction of me. That's it. Once you've found something that checks these three things off, you choose it, you face the resistance, and you continue it. This sounds like generic advice just to take action, but I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen, and I've seen it time and time again. Let me explain by means of a client story. Let's call this guy William. William had no fucking idea what to do. Together, we chose something that was marketable, that he somewhat enjoyed, and that was somewhat in line with his direction. In his case, this was a marketing agency. So it was his job to help companies with online marketing. As we progressed over the coming months, he learned that most of the things became very mundane. But this time, he kept at it. He kept building the business until he actually was making some money with it and even though many times he felt that the grass was greener he continued within all the tasks of taking upon himself a project like a marketing agency he noticed that one thing within all these tasks was something he really enjoyed doing and something that he really excelled at this was the conversations with the client and mostly the initial conversations curious and empathic person so even though the path was already revealing before himself he kept consistent until he reached the goal that he set out to obtain and once he got that he said all right over this whole period it was the client conversations the onboarding the, the sales calls that was most interesting to me we came to the very simple conclusion that his empathy, social skills, his inclination to help other people achieve something financially was what he really enjoyed doing. So with this knowledge, he looked at something else that was very apparent, which was freedom and traveling. He was always on the move and he loved the fact that he could earn his money remote. So he put one and one together and started helping other people set up marketing agencies so that they could also live the remote lifestyle that became his brand that became his thing and he is now very successful living in full alignment with his purpose i wouldn't tell this story if this was a one-off it is finally choosing the one project setting out a goal and finally going through with it until you have built that business until you have reached that goal and can say to yourself I'm a man of my word. I finally completed it. And within that process of finally dedicating yourself to one project, you are inevitably, in any case, what it is you should be doing. Choosing to start a business or to do something isn't just that one thing. It comes with a whole plethora of responsibilities, tasks, and different, and different angles. And within that, you are going to find the clues. Once you see those clues, you put one and one together and you will find your purpose. Resistance knows you inside out. And so listening to that little voice who says, nah, let's stop doing this. I think uh, the grass is greener over there. It's just a very intelligent rationalization for you to not do the work because what? You're gonna find out what it is you should be doing and that is the main fear because if you find out what you should be doing think about it that is so scary if you find your purpose and you know it you know it in your gut then you cannot stay on the couch anymore you everything will change your whole life will change and we are deeply afraid of it so your resistance will play every trick in the book to make sure that you move around that purpose, that you stay away from it. But it's always been there, man. It's always been there in plain sight. And that will come out in front of your very eyes once you choose something and stick with it and achieve what you set out to do it, to finally complete the project. And even if you didn't want to find your purpose, you're going to look it in the eye and you, you cannot get around it anymore. Understand that it simultaneously is the most beautiful thing and most scary thing to find your purpose and that your resistance will do everything everything to avoid you finding it that's why you have the unguided missile that's why you have the passive ponderer 
And if you're one of them, you will run around in circles and always feel like there is something missing. I'm basically providing you and giving you everything that I know to fix it yourself and to help create masculine role models in this world. That's the only thing I really care about. If this content is enough to do it by yourself, I applaud you. Leave a comment. Let me know how it's going. If you want to do it together with me and have me help you with the implementation, then of course the Heroes Arc is my most popular program since the beginning. And I've helped many men before you find their purpose, set direction so that the beautiful masculine journey can begin and make sure that it's the only coaching program that they'll ever need in their lives. If you got that fire inside of you and you want to do it together with me, currently three spots open. So click the link in the description to set up a, a meeting with myself. And that's it, man. See you in the next one.